what is a tubeless wheel? And what is a tube type wheel? So when we're thinking about whether we're going to put uh, a tube in our wheel and tire combination or not, and you know there are a few things to consider. The first thing to consider is look at your tires. You might have a tube type tire like these. Come and have a look at these, mate. Come and have a look at this. This one here. It says on the side there, tube type. Now I'm looking out. Who cares what your wheel's like? If it's like that, just put a tube in it. Don't look them out, just put a tube in it. And then this one here, you can see is tubeless, right? Now that's for an ACA, so it's, you know, it's gonna go on wire wheels. And this is for a 2CV, so it's gonna be on pressed steel wheels. So then the next thing I really want to consider is, because that, that's, that's simple, right? That's simple. So the thing to consider is, is your wheel a tubeless or a tube type wheel? Now, wire wheels, should all be run within the tubes. I'm aware these days that they're making um, wire wheels that are claimed to be, you no, know, that they say are tube are tubeless. However, we've come across faults them, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but this is a tube. This is this wheel needs a tube in it because it's a wire wheel. It's got holes going through there, so they leak. So with a wire wheel, a long stem ties, we say always put a tube in. No mucking around. Now also look at this aluminium rim here. This is soft my dad's dolomite sprint. Now that wheel I would say also needs a tubing. Although this wheel is of the period where tubeless tires were becoming prevalent and, and this is a wheel here that is a wire wheel that claims to be tubeless. Now this is off a of Morgan and we took it off the Morgan because it was failing because there was air coming out through the spoke holes around there. Um, this is something we come across every now and again, so we just are not advocates of running any wire wheels without tubes in. Stick a tube in. When in doubt, put a tube in. Okay? So, what they, part of what makes them think that this is a tubeless wire wheel is that they've, they've, they've put mastic over the spoke heads, okay, which, which, which fails as you can see here. Right? That does fail. Um, but the other main thing, the main thing, the big difference, and this is what's the difference between a tubeless and a tube type rim is that a tube type a tubeless rim should have these safety ribs on. Can you get this bulge on here, but can you get that in there? That's a safety rib. Okay? And that, if it's got those on, it's it's a tubeless rim. It, the rim is designed to be run tubeless. This one here you can see is part of the Passover period when they were making tubeless tires but they hadn't quite developed the safety rib. So this would have run tubeless but shortly after having done this shortly after having done this they developed that safety rib okay and that safety rib there is to stop the tire from coming off the rim when the tire pressure gets a little bit low um, so that's just you know an extra precaution so there are there are quite a few cars in the sort of late 60s and 70s where they would initially have been put on tubeless and they wouldn't have had a safety rib on the wheel but very soon after that, they developed that safety rib to improve the safety of a tubeless wire wheel. And here's a one one, and again, you can just see the rib on them there. Okay? So, other things about tyres. If a tyre is a 70 profile, 75 profile, or full profile, in other words, they don't mention a profile on there. So, a 205 70 15 is a 70 profile tyre, a 185 15 is a full profile tyre. It could also be called a 185 80 15. They can all run inner tubes. Less than 70 profile should not run inner tubes. You shouldn't run a tube in say a 205 65 15 or a 205 60 15. I, I, that's what the tyre manufacturers suggest. Um, and, and, and at which point of course you have to consider you, the, the, whether your insurance is in jeopardy if you're running an inappropriate tyre combination on your car within the tube, okay? But, and that's part of the misguided reason why wire wheels are being built tubeless. The, the drive is to put a cheap tire in your car. People convince themselves a wider, lower profile tire will make the car handle better. It won't, it'll handle differently. But in wanting to put that cheaper tire on there, they then want a, a wire wheel that's tubeless. Hence the drive to make these tubeless wire wheels. But a tubeless wire wheel we do have failures from them, which we'll show you in a minute. And also, um, I think that older it gets, the more more risk there is of these things failing, as that compound gets 
old and brittle in the silicon there and also as the tyre is changed the, 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 the silicon that comes and holds gets damaged. Um, don't look about with tubes, stick a Michelin one in, you know, we really rate the Michelin tubes, they come with a French chalk powder coating to try and keep the heat down, the quality is exceptional, um, don't look about, just stick a Michelin in. So in a minute we're going to go to the film about um, showing a failed wire wheel uh, leaking around the bead seat. Um, so any more information, longstone.com or 01302 71123. But if you've got any questions about what's going on here, if you just comment underneath the video, we can get back to you and hopefully answer your questions and then they're there for future people watching it. So here's a film, here's a film of a, of a, of a wire wheel that's leaking around the bead seat. <laughs> 